folks. Just a quick public service announcement. I feel like this definitely needs to be said. Um, I know my generation, millennials, and probably almost certainly the generations below us, Generation Z, Generation Alpha, talking to you guys, we could all definitely use this information. Um, even I need to be reminded of this fact more often than I'd like. And the truth is, if you're always getting into trouble chatting with people online or Facebook or texting, any kind of communication that is written word or typed word, if you find yourself arguing with people and fighting a lot, it's probably because you're typing. Um, a very important skill that I think a lot of us are losing our grasp on is the ability to communicate with words. You know, just, just look at the amount of anxiety in our country. Um, one of the number one fears of Americans is public speaking, and it's because we're just so used to the anonymity of the keyboard, right? We're protected by the screen because the person we're talking to isn't seeing our face, and no matter what we say, we don't have to physically or visually experience their reaction. It's just the words on the screen. And that, that's a real problem, um, because you can misread anything a million different ways. A comma can completely change the meaning of a sentence in a hundred different ways. It completely depends on interpretation. Where you end a paragraph and start the next one can completely transform the context of a story. Um, whereas if you're speaking in person, there's facial expressions, there's body language, there's voice inflection, there's tone. You can use dramatic pauses. You can be more thoughtful and it, it's more easily read. And the less exposed you are to that, the less capable you are of actually reading that in person. And, you know, the less you practice it, the less capable you are of using those tools. And we end up with a lot of people who can only type things on a screen in a one-dimensional fashion. It's not clear what their intention is. It's not clear exactly what their tone is or, or what, they're, what they're really trying to say or convey with the message. And, and it's also not clear when they're speaking in person what they want to say because they don't know how to use their body language. They don't know how to convey the spoken word. So my message is simple, um, and this is, this is critical to self-improvement. If you want to be a better, more successful person, a stronger version of yourself that's capable of more, with more energy, more confidence, one of the number one things I can recommend is speaking more publicly. Speak to people face to face. If you have a story to tell or something to say, don't text it. Call the person and, and tell them. It might actually be quicker. It might only take 60 seconds, whereas typing an entire conversation can take upwards of 10 minutes. Um, you know, join a Toastmasters club, right? These are people who get together like once a week or once a month or something, and they practice going around the table giving speeches. Join speech and debate, right? Or film videos like I do. Um, the first time I filmed a YouTube video, I was incredibly uncomfortable. I had no camera face. Um, I didn't know how to present myself. I didn't know, I, I couldn't feel my voice. But filming these videos over time has, has made it a lot easier. And this is, a, this is a skill that I highly value. And it's also a skill that employers highly, highly value. Communication is so important. Leaders need to be able to communicate. Um, even if you don't have plans of ever becoming a leader, that's okay. Um, leaders love followers who communicate well. Um, you know, the best employees are the ones who can communicate clearly and concisely. I, I, look, I'm telling you people, I can't emphasize this enough. Practice speaking and stop telling stories, stop debating, stop arguing um, through the written word. Just do it on camera, all right? That's my advice for the night. Good luck, everybody. See you in the next video, and as always, train lively.